Seventh grade, unit one, lesson 10, changing scales in scale drawings. Number one, here is a scale drawing of a swimming pool where one centimeter represents one meter. A, how long and how wide is the actual swimming pool? The scale drawing of the swimming pool is 10 centimeters long and five centimeters wide. So the actual swimming pool would be 10 meters long and 5 meters wide. B. Will a scale drawing where 1 centimeter represents 2 meters be larger or smaller than this drawing? It will be smaller. It will take fewer centimeters to represent width and length. C. Make a scale drawing of the swimming pool where one centimeter represents two meters. This is the scale drawing that was used when one centimeter represented one meter. I need to make some adjustments so that one centimeter would represent two meters. The length and the width will each be half as long as the scale drawing. So the new scale drawing of the swimming pool will be five centimeters long and two and five tenths centimeters wide. Number two, a map of a park has a scale of one inch to 1,000 feet. Another map of the same park has a scale of one inch to 500 feet. Which map is larger? Explain or show your reasoning. The map with a scale of one inch to 500 feet is larger. It takes twice the number of units to represent the distance compared to the map with a scale of one inch to 1,000 feet. Number three, on a map with a scale of one inch to 12 feet, the area of a restaurant is 60 inches squared. Hans says that the actual area of the restaurant is 720 feet squared. Do you agree or disagree? Explain your reasoning. I disagree. Using a scale of one inch to 12 feet, every one square inch represents 144 square feet and 60 times 144 equals 8,640, not 720. The area of the restaurant would be 8,640 square feet, not 720 square feet. Number four, if quadrilateral Q is a scaled copy of quadrilateral P created with a scale factor of three, what is the perimeter of Q? I've outlined the perimeter in red. We can tell that the perimeter of quadrilateral P is 62 by adding up all the side lengths. The perimeter of quadrilateral Q is going to be 62 times 3 since it was created with a scale factor of 3 and 62 times 3 is 186. The perimeter of Q is 186 units. Number five, triangle DEF is a scaled copy of triangle ABC. For each of the following parts of triangle ABC, identify the corresponding part of triangle DEF. Angle ABC. Angle A and angle D are corresponding angles. Angles B and E are corresponding angles. And angles C and F are corresponding angles. So the order D, E, F corresponds with the order A, B, C. Angle B, C, A. B and E, C and F, A and D. Angles E, F, D correspond with B, C, A. Segment A, C. A with D and C with F. Segment D, F corresponds with segment A, C. Segment BA. Angle B corresponds with angle E, and angle A corresponds with angle D. Segment ED corresponds with segment BA.